very good day students hope you are doing well okay and uh, along with your start, uh, along with your games and uh, with your activities and hobbies your studies also are very important you should not miss them you can, i hope you have downloaded your books and if you have not you can download them uh, through ncrt website you tell your parents to download them for you and today your english teacher i hope you have recognized me is going to take up the first lesson uh, from honeycomb and uh, the lesson is three questions some of you might have gone through these this lesson also but before i start i want to talk to you i hope you are doing some reading as well reading is very very important to improve your language and this is the time when you can utilize this for reading and believe me nobody likes to read on their own you have to inculcate that this interest i keep on telling in all my classes and at this stage you have to inculcate this habit of reading and this is going to help you later on when you go to senior classes whether it's chemistry physics social studies or any subject if you inculcate this habit now it's going to help you later on the children who don't inculcate the reading habit they are the ones who suffer later because reading helps you a lot and all those higher studies books majority of them are in english so english that way is very important your mother tongue of course it is very very important apart from that english for higher studies is equally very important so uh, you can get uh, books uh, online or short stories online you can read them you can ask your parents to download i'll share the link in whatsapp and you better uh, share uh, through that link read some books uh, Uh, during this time and maintain a diary also and let that diary be your friend i yesterday i took class of 600 and i told them the same thing and i tell in all my classes the same thing that this is the time whatever you're reading you'll be able to express that uh, in your diaries you're using that language and it's going to help you because at home you might be using your mother tongue so uh, when you are writing down you will be expressing that in english let it be let the flow come and i hope you will remember these two things reading and writing you must do and reading you have to uh, let reading be friend of yours books a friend of yours okay so please start that now uh, coming back to honeycomb uh, yes these are honeycombs on the book the pictures you must have read about honeycomb you must have come across honeycomb word in your science as well the cells that the honey uh, honey is the maker the wax cells to store their honey pollen or larvae so those are honeycombs and beautiful name of the your book so stories and you have got uh, poems collection and children the first of course uh, it's not that easy as it was last year because last year you were in junior class now you are senior so uh, it's not that simple but the stories are very interesting and you'll enjoy them but before i begin the stories there are some hard words uh, in the lesson and they are given on the side also let's go through them the first is council of course council c o u n c i l council you have come across this in your social studies a group of people yes that are chosen to advise give advice uh, uh, council of ministers then next word is councillors cloud councillors are the members of the council the members the persons of the council are the councillors the next word hermit h e r m i t hermit hermit is sage sadhu who leads a simple life away from uh, the crowd then wood and woods now wood of course material with which you uh, from tree we get but this wood here in your lesson wood uh, wood and woods 
you can use either of them wood or woods for forest a small forest wood or woods a big forest is a forest or woods but not wood so that is the difference wood or woods a small forest now next uh, wood woods then a phase a phase a business uh, related to business or uh, matters things okay everyday affairs now beds next is beds of course the one uh, on which you sleep bed but here in the lesson the bed uh, of course you must have come across this also in your primary the beds the gardener or you must have seen if you have a garden then your parents might be uh, preparing beds uh, to sow the seeds uh, and in the garden those beds uh, uh, the patches uh, on the ground to sow the seeds they, those are called beds fainted a uh, uh, easy word fainted um, losing consciousness uh, you must have seen your friends early in the morning when they are very tired sometimes they faint okay so fainted then redressed here the word is redressed okay it comes from dress d r e d l s s you dress clothes dress noun clothes okay dress then dress is also verb please dress okay uh, then here it is the bandage when you bandage the wounds the hurt it is also dress dress the wound okay the nurse dresses the wound okay the doctor dresses the wound you you get hurt your parents wash the wound and then they dress it up and when you do it again you open it and when you do it again it is called you put re r e re dress and it is past is one day i'll take up grammar only grammar today of course i've started with the lesson so i'll pay attention over here only on this lesson and next i'll see after this lesson i'll take up one a uh, day i'll start with the grammar as well so it is in past tense redressed okay it can be used as a verb also as an adjective so here it is uh, you will come across as a verb dressed the wound or redress again opened it and again did it so uh, redress and let us look at another next word next word is seized s e i z e d seized See, this is a new word for you. Seized, force, uh, forcibly take something away. Seized, his property was seized. He did not pay taxes, so his property was seized by the government. Government. So that is seized. Now, since we are we are discussing seize, so I'll um, a similar uh, sounding word. Okay, uh, but the spelling is different. Seize. C e a. s e c e s means stop it ceased to exist it stopped to exist okay uh, the i have uh, ceased okay um, this work uh, next is acha one more word s e i c e d since uh, i am discussing ceased so i thought uh, similar sounding words but the meanings are different spellings are different siege the armed forces then they surround up okay a place or a terrorist they lay seized seize this is noun seize okay so but in your lesson we come across this seize possibly take possibly uh forcefully take or possibly take up took by force seized took by force by force okay took by force seized possibly take something or uh, took by force okay here so the, these are the hard words and you should use these hard words in your uh, sentences and copy them in your notebooks as well and please uh, consult dictionary and you write th these words on the seize c e a s e write the meaning from the dictionary and also a sentence then siege also write in your notebook and also construct a sentence so this is for your homework uh, use 
uh, I think this is easy. Wood and woods, uh, you must have come across in lower classes also. So no need to write this. Beds also easy. But redressed. So you can use this in a sentence. This one and this and seize and siege. These uh, you will consult dictionary children. And if, if you don't have, please uh, uh, online also, you go through them and you write the meaning and also construct them, use them in sentences and in your writings also, you can use them. So this, uh, I'll continue with the lesson. Um, this lesson is about the three questions. The lesson, first chapter, the name of the lesson is three questions. Very interesting. A king. Uh, it's on goodness. How important goodness is that we should uh, always lead a good life. Be good to others. And if you're good to others, everybody will like you. And we on earth have come here to be, to lead a good life. But we will forget. And because of that, sometimes they have to suffer. Okay, good people do not suffer. But... If you are doing something wrong and feel good also, it means you feel at peace. So be good, be kind to others, be kind to nature, be kind to others. If you can help, don't speak bad about others. Okay, so there was a king, he was a good person, he was a good king and he wanted to uh, be kind to his uh, people, to the citizens of his kingdom. He was a very good king, a very good leader, a very good king. So, and he was very worried. He had three questions in mind and he wanted uh, the answers for the, these three questions. That what is uh, the best time to do uh, thing or what was the best thing to do in life? And what is the best time to do and who were the most important people? So these three things, uh, he was worried about these three things. And he went to different persons, great persons, counselors, doctors, see. And finally he goes to the sage and let us find out what happens when he goes to the sage. Of course, I'm reading out this for you. But at home, you will read this on your own. Okay. Again, you have to read like I am doing. You can also read that and try to understand and then write the answers on your own. And after in the next uh, uh, we we'll have three videos. One, I have given you homework to find out the meanings, write the meanings, not many meanings. One, two, three, four. Four words I have given. So write the four words in your notebook. Okay. And uh, the meanings and along with sentences. And uh, next will be the reading of the lesson.